In this lecture, we are going to discuss the effect of age on cardiac output. How the cardiac output changes with the increasing age. In the last lecture, we discussed that cardiac output is basically the amount of blood that the heart pumps into the aorta every minute. Venous return, on the other hand, is the amount of blood that is coming to the heart per minute or every minute. Now, this cardiac output or the amount of blood pumped per minute by the heart changes with a lot of factor and we discussed that it changes with the age, it also changes with the metabolism of the body and it also changes with the weight of the body, it changes with so many factors. A lot of diseases changes the cardiac output, some of the diseases increases the cardiac output, some of the diseases decreases the cardiac output. But in this lecture, we are specifically focusing on the effect of age on cardiac output. We also discussed in the last lecture the cardiac index. And cardiac index is basically the amount of blood that is supplied that is supplied per minute per square meter of the body. Now we are looking at the cardiac index from the cardiac output point of view because the cardiac index increases when the cardiac output increases so the cardiac index the cardiac index basically starts increasing it starts increasing and at the age of around 10 it it reaches its peak level the cardiac index is at its peak at around at a level more than 4, 4 liter per minute per meter square and then after the age of 10 it starts decreasing till the age of 80 it has it reaches around 2.4 liters per minute per square meter. So initially the cardiac index starts increasing and at the age of 10 years it reaches its peak value that is more than 4 liters per minute per meter square of the body and then after the age of 10 years it starts declining until the age of 80 it reaches around 2.4 liter per minute per meter square. Now basically it's more dependent upon the activities of the body. Now when the human body is uh, growing now suppose for example this is one meter square this one meter square this is also one meter square this is surface area of a young boy who is having who is around age 10 years and this is surface area of uh, an aged man who is around 80 years of age now in this person in this young boy the activities of the cells in the body is very high or the metabolic rate the metabolic rate and the divisions of the cell is very much high because the uh, the the body is growing so the demand per meter square the demand of this portion of this specific area of the body will be very much high as compared to the same to the same surface area of this aged person this is body surface area of a 10 year old young boy and this is body surface area of an 80 years old man now the demand the metabolic activities or the, the demand of the cells present in this surface area is very much low or it's around 2.4 liters per minute per meter square and here it's around four or more than four liters per minute per meter square because the metabolic activity and the other activities of the young boys are very much high their body is growing the cells are dividing so that's why the cardiac output or the cardiac index that is liters per minute per meter square of the body is at its peak at around the age of 10 and then it starts declining till the age of 80 when it 
when it touches around 2.4 liter per minute per meter square so that's the effect of age on the cardiac output thanks a lot for watching the video